Hello there guys, my name is Curtis Chai, YouTube channel Donkster Born Board Built for Theme Parties and welcome to the second of part two of our three videos today. Now like I mentioned in the Sick First Great Adventure video, we released uh, three videos on Saturday and this is part two of the six upload weekend. Uh, that's what I'm calling it, it's a one or six upload weekend. Um, so you saw the Six Flags Great Adventure video, this is from Six Flags America. Uh, in Bolton, uh, near, it's sort of near Washington, Washington DC, and it's from it's 15, 15 minutes from Washington DC basically. Um, so let's go through the story of 2020. So I reported in an earlier video on the channel months ago now uh, that their Sky Coaster Daredevil dive uh, has confirmed to be removed. They started removing it, markers were appearing, groundwork uh, around that site. Uh, and everyone was wondering what the hell is going to replace that site. The markers suggested a giant discovery, not Giga, but giant discovery attraction, which is a frisbee ride manufactured by Zampala. Uh, and, it, and it is a very fun, fun ride uh, from what I've been heard. I haven't done the giant discovery yet. I've done the, uh, I believe I've done the gyro swing and I've definitely done the KMG afterburners, but I'm yet to do a giant discovery from Zampala. Um, so I've heard the really fun ride, so I'm going to check it out if there's any near me. Uh, now we didn't know what the name and the theme was, however, when we got the marker spotted, uh, I was sort of thinking a um, DC theme, like a Supergirl Skyflyer or a Harley Quinn's Insanity. Well, I've mentioned, out of those two names, I have mentioned the trademark name for the attraction, which looks to be the confirmation of what the attraction is going to be called. Now unless Six Flags pulls an absolute quickie and just throws us completely off, which is very unlikely at this stage, we do have the name of the giant discovery that's set to come, or but confirmed to come, to Six Flags America next year, and that is Harley Quinn Spin Sanity. Now, Harley Quinn Spin Sanity has been used on many different rides. It's been used on Over Texas, ABC Torbalon. It's been used on the New England uh, Giant Discovery. Um, it's been used on. It's been. It was used on like one of those little classic Carnival flat rides as well. It was on the. Um, so the Hus Troika, I believe it was, uh, that they find that they actually removed when they built the new Harley Quinn's Insanity, which is a bit confusing from a text point of view. Um, so they have used Harley Quinn's Insanity a lot. They used it on a Tilt a Whirl when they added that, and this Larson Super Loop called the Joker Chaos Coaster back in 2015. Um, I believe that was over George's, if I'm not mistaken. Comment down below if you, if it's right. If they added Joker Chaos Coaster and this tilt a world flat ride Harley Quinn's Insanity in the same year, in 2015. And I believe it was over Georgia, that park, so comment down there if I'm wrong. But, Harley Quinn's Insanity is the trademark's name uh, that's being used for this attraction, uh, and I'm really excited by that. Now, America seems like a park on the rise. They converted their Apocalypse stand-up coaster to, to Firebird, this new B&M Flawless. Um, and then, of course, next year they're adding this giant discovery, or will confirm to add this giant discovery attraction uh, called Harley Quinn's, what looks to be called Harley Quinn's Insanity from the trademark. Um, I think it's a good move for Six Flags America to have this attraction. It's one of the main Six Flags parks that hasn't got one of these giant discoveries. Uh, so I think this particular flat ride is a very good move for the park. Um, so, really happy to see this being added to the park. Uh, it's just a little small theme park news from update there on just the trademark being used and things like that. I am expecting that red, white and black sort of colour scheme with the ride. Um, I think it will use the Daredevil site very, very wisely. I, I wouldn't put it past Six Flags America to use that full site. Uh, there will not be a pave untouched. Uh, and that whole area around Daredevil Dive is going to get a brand new facelift in my opinion. Make it real part of a DC universe. Uh, so Harley Quinn's been Sanity, Zampella Giant Discovery for Six Flags America in 2020. Uh, at least I've got one prediction right. <laughs> I think the Over Texas Power Splash I think is another prediction that I've got right. Um, especially with all the shipments going off etc from Mac Rides and it looks likely to be a Power Splash. Uh, but this prediction for Six Flags America looks definitely to be right. Uh, it looks set to be Harley Quinn's Insanity and I can't wait for this ride to open in 2020. So. Talking about then the overall, just like a little side note, just talk about the overall thoughts of Six Flags. I am still very hopeful that it is going to be Six Flags' best year uh, in quite some time. Um, I think in past years we've had some good attractions. Obviously, 
2012 was a great year for the park, for the parks. Uh, you know, a couple of sky screamers, uh, relocated stand up, went through the ride relocation program. B and M Wing, it's Great America with the X Flight, um, new drop tower for Magic Mountain, um, just just loads of great experiences. Obviously, a couple of water park additions as well, and some other smaller rides and show additions. Um, but I expect no different. Um, if you think of other great years, Magic Mountain adding three coasters in one year, that was a big year for the park. Um, there's been other big, big years as well. 2015 was quite a big year with two RMCs, two Justice League, uh, Just, Justice League Battle for Metropolis Dart Rides, um, and many more attractions. I think this is going to be the best year for quite a while because potentially, potentially, we're looking at a couple of giant discoveries, maybe a water park edition or two, um, maybe another new flat ride, depending on what Fiesta Texas seems to be going in the direction of. Uh, def I think this is definitely the best Six Flags year in a long time and quite a few years for coasters for quite some several years. Obviously the rumours of Green Lantern going through the ride relocation program to La Ronde. Um, you know the power splash if you count it uh, over Texas. Uh, New England rumoured for a coaster. Great Adventure rumoured for a coaster. Uh, obviously there's still rumours swirling of St. Louis. Is that going to get a coaster? We don't know. Um, it's, it's, it's quite an exciting year for Six Flags coming up, so I am hoping for the best with this park uh, and with Six Flags in general. So that was just like a little overview, just a little side note. But overall, Harlequin's been sanity. I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with that. So thank you very much for watching this theme park news update from Six Flags America. We've got one more to go, and it's the revealing of what Cedar Point's doing for their 150th anniversary in 2020. Uh, still some more to be revealed in future dates, but obviously we've got the first few details of what they're doing for 2020 for their 150th anniversary. Thank you very much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Chad Donkster Born, but built for theme park news. Keep on the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.